I'm telling your fellows that you started a video. Awesome. Hello. Oh, hold up. Hello, wonderful world of Instagram. This is me today and what I'm wearing. Got my two boys with me. Puppies. We're going to let this emergency service go by first because they're very loud. Oh, never mind. They turned. So, I'm coming down this road here. I'm in Oshawa right now. Come on, boys. Let's cross. Let's cross the street. Let's go. go, go, go. And uh, as I'm going by, I don't know what I can say on Facebook or on Instagram or what I can't. They go by and uh, this car puts his windows down and the guys yell out uh, very derogatory. Come on, boys. Pups are falling behind. Very derogatory uh, term for, I guess, homosexuals. I believe it's a, I know if I'm wrong, Rastafari in Jamaican. Starts with a T. Or starts with a B and ends with I. It's boy, it's two words. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I heard that and I thought, okay, sure. So I stepped to the middle of the road, not to the middle of the road, to the side of the road, and I stuck my finger up at them. And, you know, I just yelled, pull over. And uh, they started to slow down and pull over, and as I started to walk closer to them, uh, that's when I noticed that they very quickly started to speed away. Kind of weird. <laughs> So, you know, norm normally that shit doesn't kind of bother me because uh, my first thought was, okay, I'm, I'm upset about that, and that, you know, that's, that's pretty ignorant. Uh, but then I thought to myself, you know what? Who are you? No, literally, who are you? You're some dude passing by in a vehicle yelling dumbass shit. And then when you get confronted on it, you tuck your tail between your legs and run away. I know who I am. I know my sexuality. I know my sexual identity. I know everything about me. And that makes me feel great because it gives me my confidence and it gives me my assurance of who I am. I don't need validation from anyone or anything um, because I figured myself out and I said, hey world, this is me. This is who I am. Uh, and I love me. And if you don't, that's, that, that's, that's great because I've been getting along fine without you and I don't really need you. So yeah. So I thought, like, who are these guys? They're like keyboard warriors online, you know? Post a bunch of shit and then, like, fuck off and don't say anything or do anything. Um, <laughs> so I was like, alright, whatever, let it go. I got to the store and as I, right as I get into the, uh, the store because it's a plaza, there's some woman in, like, her 60s or whatever. She walks up to me and she goes, come on, boys. No, she doesn't say, come on, boys. She goes, oh, my God, I love your pants and I love your outfit. I said, oh, thank you so much. I just got called the fag over it. And she's like, what? Oh, my God. I said, ah, don't worry. It's People like that make me feel bad because they have the tiny minds and tiny brains. And there's these two, two dudes sitting outside a, a fish and chip store. And, like, if you're going to judge a book by its cover, you'd be like, oh, they look like... Uh... <sighs> They don't look like outstanding members of society. You know, they look a little withdrawn into themselves and kind of gritty. And they pipe up and they're like, what? Dude, really? Oh my God. Nah, man, you look so colorful. You look so good. I'm like, oh, thanks, guys. It's actually funny. Like, you know, they, they talk shit to me. And then, uh, you know, as I called them out on it, they drove away. And they're like, oh, they drove away? Really? I'm like, yeah, I figured, you know, they're just immature little bitches and that you know that's that's their their excitement and their thrill like you know ringing on someone's doorbell and running away <laughs> so uh <laughs> he goes nah man as you got close they probably saw your arms and figured oh shit what are we doing we gotta get the oh zap come on you okay buddy like nah man you as you got close they probably saw your arms and thought oh fuck we're, we're fucking the wrong guy and they just drove off and i laughed and i said you know what that's true uh i'm, I'm always one to like not not start with violence if I can, if I can educate people. Like one thing I take a lot of pride in is I'm a big I'm a big guy. I got a lot of muscles, uh, I got a lot of tattoos, I'm really tall. But people's first jump is like, oh violence. I'm a pacifist. I mean don't get me wrong, I like violence, but I will not resort to it. So if I can come up to people and school them with knowledge and be like, hey, this is what's up, this is what's good, give them some understanding. You know, that's something that's gonna be like planted in their brain and they're gonna take that with them for life and they might even pass it on to other people. You drag someone out of the car and slap the shit out of them. 
you know, they're going to be sore for like a week or two until they heal. And they'll probably just have more anger and hate in them. And they're not changing anything. You haven't done anything, you know? Um, so I, I, I think it's funny. Like, whenever I'm dressed like this and I'm walking around like this, you know, I get the biggest looks and the weirdest, oh my God. And then my girlfriend comes out and she's like tiny and she's covered in pink. And it's just, it really kind of fucks with people's minds. I like that. But uh, I'm walking alone and these guys, these guys see this and they, they call out their insults to me and they drive away as I get close. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you talk shit and you drive away yo straight up any day of the week i'd rather be a fag than a bitch because oh god there's glass everywhere come on boys because you know what if i'm gonna be a fag i know what i like and i know me and i know myself uh but i ain't no bitch because <laughs> someone wants to approach me or come up to me i'm not i'm not running away i'm standing my ground you know so if you're going to be in a car with your homies and you're going to lean out the window and talk shit to people and say shit to people, um, be prepared that they're probably bigger than you and they might stop and try and approach you. So uh, just to reiterate, walking down the street to the store with my dogs, guys drive by, call me a bati boy. Uh, I give them the finger and I tell them to pull over. They pull over and as I get close, <laughs> they fucking speed off. And then shortly after that, uh, I get to the store and this, this woman in her 60s compliments my outfit. And these two, uh, you know, younger guys, they're like, oh, you know, they totally jump in and they're like, hey, man, you look great. You look good. That's awesome. So I go into the store. I make my purchases. Oh, yeah, Zap? I go into the store and make my purchases. And uh, the two guys walk by the store. The two guys that were like, dude, really? Come on. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bigger dog right there they're going for. So the two guys walk by, the, the cool guys, not the jerks. And they got the, this girl with them, and they wave to me, and I wave back, and I get out of the store. And they're like, oh, hey, man, can, uh, can our friend see your dog? I'm like, yeah, sure. So they start petting the dogs, and they see my nails. I'm just, I'm just messing with these. I got some new colors, you know? I'm not too crazy on the blue, and the pink's kind of orange. So, But I'm experimenting with new colors. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the guy's like, oh, man, I love your nails. They're so nice and cool. Like, oh, thanks, man. I'm a little, I'm a little embarrassed by them because I like my other colors more. But I'm just, you know, I'm foxing around with these and trying it out. He goes, oh, no, man, that's great. I normally do blue and white. And I said, oh, that's really dope, man. Yeah, you know, I dig the blue because of the masculinity and I dig the pink because of the femininity. And he's like, oh, yeah. So we had a great exchange. And I just said to him, I said, you know what, guys? Thanks for, thanks for lifting up my day. I was a little, a little sour earlier, but coming by and like seeing these guys they're younger guys they look like they could be kind of trouble you know if you're going to judge a book by its cover and they weren't they were really cool they were really awesome and uh i was walking away and i was like this incident kind of got to me i'm like i don't know i do want to post it but i don't i want to sit there and type things out so i figured you know what i just go live right now and give a little rant about it and as i'm sitting here trying to figure out how to do that <laughs> this car drives by the parking lot i swear to god it's some woman in her 70s She's like, excuse me. I'm like, yeah. She goes, I just wanted to say your outfit looks so nice. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, people are awesome, you know? As soured and pissed off as I was with that first interaction with those guys, I had like three or four interactions right after that of like younger people, people my age and older people, just saying nothing but positive and nice things. So it's nice. I was sour and upset. Um, my lip gloss is popping. <laughs> thanks victoria <laughs> love your love um but it was nice because as upset and sour as i was uh i got a total reset from a bunch of people right afterwards and it's just it's nice i mean yeah it's pride month yeah there's a lot going on in the world and it can be nerve-wracking or nervous for some people to express who they are or be themselves um it's, you know, and, and you think that this is a good month to do it because more, more people are aware and, and uh, cool with it. But uh, I guess that's not always the case. And as, as much as, you know, you want to jump and get mad and be angry at people, just the fact that it could have been opened up to having so many other people say such nice things about me uh, really restored my faith. So, you know, just just remember, it's it's so easy to ruin or shit on someone's day just like that, but it's so much more difficult and so much more rewarding uh, to say one or two nice things and just give them a good day. And, you know, people hold on to that and they remember that. Uh, so, yeah. 
anyways, I'm home now. I'm, I'm glad I could get that off my chest, and thanks to everyone who was listening. Um, shut out the hate. Get some love in your life. It, you'll live longer, you'll be happier, and uh, you'll get a lot more accomplished. It's good to know that uh, the world's coming around now. Anyways, I'm out. Thank you, everyone. Be safe. I don't know how to turn this off now. I've never even done this before. What's this button do?